This lesson that I am about to talk about has completely changed in my life. Not only has it allowed me to be as content with my current situation as possible, but it has also began transformation into what I believe is the best possible version of myself. I would like to share this lesson with a quote. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. While going on my walk this afternoon, I thought of this quote and tried to be as present as possible. Humans have this amazing ability to be able to think in the past and in the future. We can think in the past because we're able to share experience, we're able to share stories of what happened to us. We can think in the future because we're able to predict events, we're able to worry about what happens in the future. The problem is that we often get stuck either in the future or in the past. Even though we're living in the present, our mind gets stuck in a different reality almost and this is a troubling thing and instead of dealing with it instead of confronting this problem we just distract ourselves in our lives by like watching tv shows or scrolling on tiktok or going on our phones it's so easy to just let your life pass you by rather than face this problem of being stuck in either the future or the past and this is why living in the moment is such a hard thing to do because there's so many distractions in our life and it is such a blessing to be able to live in the moment even though it may require more work to do it is totally worth it so the next question you have to ask yourself is how can i be more present and for me this always starts with asking one question and that is am i safe in this current situation that I am in, am I safe? And honestly, it's such a simple question because most of the time, you are safe. The problem is that for thousands and thousands of years, humans have been wired to believe that there's danger surrounding them. I mean, if you're just living in the wild, there could be a, a lion or a dangerous bug it's very close to you. But most of those problems don't really exist today at least to most people <laughs> so the first question that you have to ask yourself is are you safe in this present moment wherever you are wherever your mind might be are you safe and most of the time the answer will be yes so after that there are two main ways to be present and the first is meditation meditation allows you to be present because there are no distractions you simply sit down or lay down close your eyes, focus on your breathing, and you, you simply look inward where there are no distractions. You look deeper inside yourself. You learn more about yourself. You explore your thoughts. You explore everything that's going on internally without any distractions. And that's the beautiful thing about meditation. It allows you to focus. It builds your mind, rewires it to be able to focus on yourself. The second way is to journal. And this personally is my favorite one because I love to journal. Simply take out a notebook, put the phone away, shut the TV off, get into a silent environment, take out your notebook, and write down five things you're grateful for. That will allow you to be present because you're not focused on the future, you're not focused on the past, you're focused on now. You're focused on right now, what do I have that I can be thankful for? And that to me is being fully present because you're truly enjoying what you have at the current situation that you are in. And that allows you to really enjoy what you have present, it really allows you to enjoy your life a little bit more. Being present has absolutely transformed my life and it's a skill that I'm constantly working to get better at, to be more present, to live more and more in the moment without worrying about the past or the future and what happened in the past or what will happen in the future. Being present is truly a gift and it has allowed me to be more motivated every single day. It's allowed me to capture life, which is 
my priority right now. I just feel like without any of these distractions that are designed by capitalism, you feel overall a lot happier. You feel like you want to get up every day and life honestly just becomes a lot easier. So if you're thinking about getting into meditation or journaling or, or you just honestly want to feel a little bit more clear, you just want to clear your head, live a little bit more meaningfully, more presently, I believe that these are, being present is a skill that you need to work on and it will absolutely change your life.